Hi there. I'm Slim Critchlow, and this is the Open Mic Documentary. Tonight, we're outside of the Red Devil Lounge Open Mic. It's the one-year anniversary. Let's go inside and see what's going on. I know it's only been a year, but how you guys doing tonight? Nice. Thank you guys so much for being here. Oh my God, it means so much to see all you good-looking people. And it's good to see a lot of people that I've seen play here a bunch of times here tonight. Thank you guys so very, very much for coming out. Tonight's a really special night. It's our one-year anniversary of hosting this up, of having this open mic here at Red Devil Lounge. And uh, the first night that we uh, had this open mic, uh, it was pretty much about 10 people. And it was a good time. It was a lot of fun. Everyone played about 30 songs each. And then we, uh, we all called it a night. Uh, but man, thank you so much for being here. This is awesome. Thank you so much for being here. This is, it means a lot. Just thank you. You can go ahead and applaud. Yeah. Please put your hands together and give it up for Benjamin Brown.
change. But I guess I never learned that lesson. Better son, better son. Lord, I wish I'd been a better son. I wish I never did the things I've done. Boy, I wish I'd been a better son. A better son becomes a better man. But I don't want to have just what I have. A better man comes from a better son. Faithful day when Shad John Brown had learned my name. I come up off the lips of his lover who lay beaten bruised from his anger. Wings if I could turn back time or stop a clock, I never would have gone to fight that shot. You know that he's earned the things he's got, but he's turned my soul into stone and rock. A better son, a better son. Lord, I wish I'd been a better son. I wish I never did the things I've done. Oh, I wish I was a better son. You know, a better son becomes a better man. Lord, I only am just what I am. A better man comes from a better son. So, Lord, I wish. talking with Casey Turner, the host of the Red Devil Lounge Open Mic, and it's the one-year anniversary. Congratulations, Casey. Thanks, Slim. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. My pleasure. So, uh, how did you start this thing here? Um, a friend of mine who used to be a booker here um, also books for a local artist, so we were just kind of hanging out one day talking, and she was like, hey, I want you to do some more stuff at Red Devil Lounge, and I was like, well, like what? Like hosting up a mic? And that kind of just started into what it is now. It was kind of a conversation that uh, actually well, you, happened. Well, you host another one, uh, Finnegan's, over in Nevada. You've yep. probably done that for several years. Yeah, uh, that's in Nevada every Monday night, and uh, this November will be five years, actually, five for that years. one. So, oh, my God. Yeah, and it's a completely different scene. That's more of the uh, family restaurant, uh -huh. uh, which it's a great scene. Uh, but this is like, you know, at an actual music venue here in the city, and right. we all, get, we get all a lot hip, more, hip cats a lot more people. There's a, quite the line behind us right now right. to get in. Which is, well, the one-year anniversary, I mean, if you're, I'm excited. If you're ever going to come this is the night to be I here. think so I mean a lot of people I'm hoping to see oh, I've already, I can already see a couple people who haven't been maybe for a few weeks um, coming out of the woodwork and uh, coming together because it really the idea is to have a good time share music but also make friends and make you know a family kind of out of it a weekly gathering and so hopefully tonight will be um, just kind of everyone coming mm -hmm. back together for the and anniversary. you're originally from Missouri? Yep, I'm from Columbia, Missouri. And uh, when did you get out to San Francisco? I, I moved out to the Bay Area um, in no uh, October of 2005, so about six years ago. And then right after that you decided to just open your first open mic in, uh, I, at Finnegan's? I did, yeah, I started that one about a, uh, a year later. I started that one at um, 
in uh, 2006. So about a year later, uh, November 2006, I, I, I lived in Novato for a while and uh, there was honestly not a whole lot happening for local musicians. So instead of complaining about it, yeah. I just decided to start an open mic. And yeah. and, you, and you have your own um, uh, uh, label, Casey Turner Presents? Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a local promoter. That's, what, that's my daytime job is I put on shows um, at various venues and I host a house concert series that's really catching some, some people's attention. Yeah, I, I think. think the house concert series was the first time I noticed you because um, you had some people from a major radio station. You were at their house or something. Wasn't yeah, that it? I hosted um, Matt Nathanson um, at my friend Peter Finch, who works for K Fog Radio. Uh, so it was a show at Peter's house with Matt Nathanson. Um, it wasn't the first house concert I've done, but it was one of the uh, the larger name household name artists I've hosted, which was really right. exciting. Yeah, I mean, anytime you have some people on the radio that's there, it's like, wow, how's this guy getting the radio people? Well, the people um, at K Fog are really, really nice. I mean, you should talk to them because they would probably love what you're doing, is in and probably support you like by telling people about it because they're a really great family there especially the morning show crew and the uh, the newest uh, music director there Dennis Constantine totally has their they have their hand like on the pulse of local scene and I I don't I mean I, I don't know exactly how we first met but it, it happened and mm -hmm. they're the nicest people and so we work together on anything we could do to help San Francisco local music because yeah, that's the yeah. end goal we both want the same thing which is our scene to be as good as it could be. Right. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thanks, Slim. She wants a real head turner by the long run. I want to go much further, perfect piece of work. She wants hot off the presses. One of them must confess is a little black dress will start to drive me wild. I moved in quicker than a New York minute. When I opened up my mouth, she put my foot right in it. She said, hold on, you move too fast. Don't you know this girl needs a little romance? I sure as hell ain't the one that stand in my rock my world. But I don't know like that. I don't know like that Well, this girl looked like a short thing And always get my way thing I was gonna get her number But maybe she already had mine She wanted some romance So I waited for a slow dance We were moving to Sinatra Now was the time When I let my hands do the talking She said, honey, watch that line Your fingers are crossing Oh, yeah, hold on don't you know this girl needs a little romance? I sure as hell ain't the one that stand in my rock, my world. I don't know what that. This girl's got my fingers turned all the way around. Here's something I would not have guessed. She was turning me on by turning me down. Well, I hate to admit it, I just have to bear and grin it. But that arrow's gone and hit it right on the mark. The whole world's been a burden, now I'm part of the converted. Best way to this woman is straight to her heart. And when I leaned in for a good night kiss, she said, Honey, why don't you just go on and read these lips? Oh, yeah, hold on. I sure as hell ain't the one that stand in my rock, my world. She said I could be your girl. You might rock my world. I don't know like that. I don't know like that. You better watch your room. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and give Heroes Last Mission a big warm Yay! Red Devil Lounge. Yahoo! What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? I want to see your hands in the air like this. This first song is called Can't Handle This. It goes like this. Just don't look on it, but to the men, boys and men, the 
a non profit, you can't talk on down. No preaching to the choir. You just can't handle it. I'm here tonight interviewing Donovan Plant. Uh, Donovan has some great songs, and I, we want to you know, find out a little bit more about his background. Uh, let me get my, uh, my question sheet out here. Um, so, Donovan, how did you get to uh, San Francisco? Uh, I lived here, I moved here in about 1990. I grew up in Fremont. And I uh, went to school. And, so you're a Bay Area. I'm boy. a Bay Area boy. Yeah. Okay. So it's not that big of a stretch of imagination. No. When when did your musical career begin? Uh, when I was around 12 years old, I took lessons from uh, my friend's father, Wayne Siligo. In guitar. Yeah, guitar first. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, um, when did you start writing songs? Soon after, I'd say. After my first guitar lesson, I wrote my first song. It was like uh -huh. three chords, but <laughs> but, this, but the stuff that you put out on your most recent CD, uh, when when did you when did those songs come about? Uh, I began writing those in 2011. So they're they're fairly recent. Yes, they are. Yeah. Um, I, and how would you classify your music? I guess you know people will be seeing on this show some of your songs. They can probably classify them themselves. But uh, how what would you call it? I would say it's pop, rock, maybe, um, and I have some country influences. I wrote some country songs, so a uh -huh. little bit of rock, a little bit of pop. A little bit of rock, a little bit of pop. 
Well, there's a formula right there. Yeah. Um, so you, uh, it's one, anniver one year anniversary tonight of the Red Devil. What other open mics in San Francisco have you been to? Um, I've been to the, uh, the Rocket Room. The Rocket I haven't, Room? I haven't played it yet. And, uh, mostly you've been here then? Mostly, yeah. Uh -huh. And what do you think about the San Francisco music scene? I think it's amazing. I think there's a lot of, of scene to take in, and I'm looking forward to seeing yeah, more of it. There, there, really, there really is a, 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 lot of, a lot of scene to take in. Um, do you have any advice for an aspiring musician? Uh, what uh, Pitfalls not to fall into or, um, you know, just a little motivation? What? What in your career is something that you uh, came across and thought, oh, wow, if I would have known that, it would have been so much easier to, you know? Uh, I think just uh, don't try to write a masterpiece every time. Just keep writing and write as much as you can. And um, That's a good advice. Yeah. 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 So what do I else? Uh, so uh, what's, the, what's the near future hold for you? Well, I'm supposed to be going to Germany in November to uh, record a new album. Oh, you just finished one album. And you're going to record another one. We recorded an EP this year, and and we're going to go. I'm going to go back, hopefully in November, to record a full album with my producer Fabian Gorg. And, and he lives there in Germany. Yeah. Uh -huh. Great. How'd you meet him? Uh, via uh, the BMI website, uh, songwriter101.com. I recorded with a lot of other songwriters around the world. And uh, one of them introduced me to Fabian, and he liked my songs, so we did yeah. some recording. Well, it was funny tonight. I was talking to Nina, uh, and you know, I have no no idea how how you guys know each other. But she goes, "Oh, have you ever filmed Donovan? I love his stuff." And She's I said, sweet. "Oh yeah, I just as a matter of fact, I just filmed him with two cameras like a couple three weeks ago. So I'm going to have to send that off to her." So. You obviously have a, a fan base. Oh, she's a great songwriter. She's <laughs> a, so cool. People that are, you know, <laughs> are following you. So, I mean, that's kind of how I've got to all these different open mics. I went to one. I found some people I really liked, uh, became friends with them, and then I said, "Well, where you guys go? Oh, there's this other open mic that we go to on Tuesdays or Fridays, or so. You know, you just keep it word of mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just kind of. Uh, fell into this one because I knew about KC and um, KC's amazing. Yeah, he, yeah. He really, uh, when I first came here, he, he gave me a lot of encouragement. So I really yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. So, and I'm glad I came down here because this seems to be one of the most happening open mics, if not the most. The Hotel Utah is really good, but uh, this place is really, really smoking too. A lot of people. I mean, I tonight I saw um, eight or ten people. That I've originally known from the Hotel Utah, wow. so obviously they know what's happening and they're coming on. Yeah. Anyway, we're talking with Donovan Plant. If you get a chance, check him out. Uh, do you have a website? That I you? do. Uh, Don www.donovanplant.com. Okay, there you go. Donovanplant.com. Check him out. He's got some good stuff, and you'll see later on in this show if you haven't seen already something. Thanks a lot, Slim. Thank you, Donovan. All right.
Oh, I'm calling 
Hi there, I'm Slim Critchlow, and we're outside the Red Devil at the one year anniversary. <laughs> and I'm standing next to Tiki Hausman, who's the first in line. Oh my God, what time do you have to get here? Um, I'm really embarrassed to say Slim because that's going to show people how much time I have on my hands. It's obnoxious. Okay, you got here really early. Yes, I got here early. To, to be in line for this one, one, one year anniversary show. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you're a musician. Ye yes, I have been accused of that, yes. Are you, uh, you're a bass player, you're a songwriter, you even were writing an opera at one time. Yeah, I was. Uh, what's, your, what's your background in music? Um, well, I, I come from a musical family. My great aunt played violin um, for the Sacramento Symphony. She was first chair, and she also played for Elvis and Frank Sinatra. She actually got fired by Nancy Sinatra and got rehired by Frank. So, um, you know, I had music lessons for free. Um, and my family was into classical music and mariachi music because I'm a Mexican Jew. And um, when did you decide to pick up uh, uh, the bass? The bass, yeah. Um, actually, probably when I was probably 12 or 13, I'd been playing violin and classical guitar before that. And, um, you know, that was the first thing that really spoke to me, and that's when I knew I'd found my instrument. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So uh, you're here with the one-year anniversary with everybody else in this line, and uh, make, just making sure that you play before, because I'm sure it's going to be huge. It's already a huge line. He says that they're going to 1.30. I'm not staying until 1.30. I'll probably be here till midnight, maybe, getting everybody. But uh, anyway, good talking to you. I'll have to go down and see everybody else in the line. That's right.
it's fine. Never time I breathe. Oh, I take a breath from you. Cause that's what I do. Never time I walk. Yeah, I take my second step from you. Cause of the things you do. Can we get more guitar, please? And every time you smile, oh, I'm paralyzed by the look in your eyes. And every time you speak, oh, my knees get weak. Yeah. 
And we 